Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It is Kent Island, Kathy. Um, been out previewing some homes for some buyers and we're actually now on our way to go bowling. I am um, being very brave doing a live video with um, Jeff is driving. So don't worry, I'm not Facebook living and driving. Um, but you know, I do have the two little ones in the back. But as I've been working a lot with buyers and sellers and you know, I'm always saying like, make sure you have a strong agent, hi, um, strong lender. And I just wanted to explain, cause some people might be like, what, you know, what is a strong lender? What does that mean? And I'm going to tell you, so strong, because you know, maybe you're thinking like a lender is a lender, you know, as long as I get the money to buy the house, doesn't really matter where it comes from. And I watch out, vehicles. Shoulder ahead. I don't know if you just heard our GPS. Um, I can tell you that's far from the truth. Like, you know, it is very important where your money comes from, and it's very important that you can get the deal done. So the first part of being a strong lender is being educated. Ha you know, choosing a lender that is knowledgeable in all the programs that are available and that can talk to you, listen to you. Listen to what your needs are, you know, what you're looking for, where you're comfortable. Take all that information and match you with the best program. There are more than, there's more than just one program to buy a house. There are programs out there um, that can help you with your down payment. There's programs that help you with your closing costs. There's programs that help you pay off your student loan debt. Um, you know, there's construction loans, there's all different kinds of loans and you want to make sure that you have a lender that knows those programs and is going to help you by listening to what you're looking for. Uh, the second part of being a strong lender is having, <laughs> having um, strong relationships with their underwriting and processors. That is so important. Uh, I've done deals where underwriting it's in a totally different, not just building or on a different floor, but in a different state. It's hard for a lender. There's so many moving parts and so many things that are going on that you want to have a lender that is knows what's going on and can literally go and walk and talk to that underwriter and have that relationship and get things done. Especially nowadays, you know, when we're trying to get loans done and get things turned around in 30, 45 days, there's a lot of boxes that need to get checked off in those days. So in order to get that done, you need to have that strong relationship. The third part, again, about being a strong lender is when you do first talk to a lender and they give you an estimate, uh, you know, we pick a property that we're putting an offer on and they'll go through and give you an estimated um, dollar amount of what you are going to have to come to the table with, you know, including your closing costs, your down payment, all that. You want somebody that is not gonna just give you fluff to make you feel good, but someone that's gonna give you legit, real numbers. Um, I had a settlement yesterday, and my clients, and, and I love strong lenders because they make me look good. My clients could not be more happy that their what they were estimated to pay was off by $400 in their favor. So what they expected to pay was actually more. They got money back at the table. Very rare to buyers get money back at the table. So those are the three, just, you know, quick three characteristics of a strong lender. If you're looking for a lender, please reach out to me. I work with the best. I will con get you in contact with them, uh, get you pre-qualified, help you uh, get those dreams and goals of owning your own home this year uh, accomplished. So, Ken Allen, Kathy, I hope you guys have a great Saturday. Feel free to call, uh, leave me a message. You can message me here on Facebook. Um, have a great day. Say bye, guys. <laughs>